Well, welcome back to Trends and Friends, y'all. We are out here at the Texas Tech Therapeutic Writing Center, and I'm joined by Kelsey. So, Kelsey, thanks so much for having us out here today. Yes, thank you for being here. Yeah, well, we're happy to be here, and if you guys can't tell, they have a Christmas event coming up. It's going to be their first one that they've ever done, which is very exciting. But kind of for starters, talk a little bit about, you know, what this center offers. Yes, so here at the Therapeutic Writing Center, we offer equine-assisted services to children, adults, and veterans. Um, the youngest age rider we can accept is two, and our oldest has been 98. Okay, wow. So, so a lot of different age ages and all of that. You're really kind of putting yourselves out there into the community and really helping. And so what are kind of the benefits to Texas Tech as well? Um, so we have a lot of involvement with Tech as far as the students that come out. Um, there have been many students that come to Tech specifically for this program so that they can enhance their knowledge in the equine assisted industry and then they eventually go out and have centers of their own okay. or help out at centers that are already established. Okay, so it's a really great way to kind of put your foot in the door to kind of help and get out in the community, mm -hmm. which is something that y'all like to do, especially hosting events. Yes. So you guys do have your first Christmas event coming up, so talk a little bit about it. Yes, so this event, um, King's Reigning Legacy is putting it on and they're a parent and supporter group of the Tech Therapeutic Writing Center. And this event is open to the public. We have lots of fun things planned. There is going to be a bounce house, crafts, pictures with Santa, food, um, lots going on. Um, tickets for adults are $10, tickets for children are five, and then any of our riders that come to the event, they get in for free. And we are also collecting um, canned goods for the South Plains Food Bank. Okay, so perfect. families that bring 10 canned good items, they'll be entered into a sweepstakes and can hopefully win some really cool prizes. Okay, very nice. So a lot of fun stuff. And you know, yeah. it's the holidays. People look forward to events like these. And so why should people kind of come out to y'all's? Well, number one, um, it's going to be lots of fun. Yes. <laughs> we have, like I said, so many things going on. Um, but number two, it hopefully will open people's eyes to what we do out here. Yes. Um, we plan to have some information on King's Legacy so that people can learn more about that program and get Get involved with them. Um, we'll hopefully have some of our horses out so that we can talk to the community about our horses and what services they provide um, and then just to answer any questions people may have about our program as a whole. So this that we have here today is Queen. She is a Canadian Fjord. She is 22 years old and has been a huge blessing here at the center. She's been helping many riders out here for lots of years. Um, we've actually had many riders take first steps and say first words when doctors told their family that may never happen for them and it's all been attributed to Queen. Um, if we have riders that especially are nonverbal um, and come to us, you know, their parents say we've tried every form of therapy possible, we're just not really getting anywhere, our program director has always said, well, let's get them on Queen. And after just a few sessions, we start getting verbal utterances um, and, and much more than the families have ever seen. So. Queen, she's a blessing. She's our Christmas miracle. <laughs> yes, yeah, we can um, definitely get her up and have her out so people can come love on her, take a look at her. She's very unique. So she's a Canadian Fjord, and that horse is definitely not common in these parts. Um, so she's very unique, very sweet, easygoing, as you can see, and she loves attention. So she would never pass up the opportunity to have people come love on her. Okay, perfect. And so kind of, you know, where we are right now, is this going to be exactly where the event is taking place? Yes, yeah, and the physical address is 5712 County Road 1500. Um, most of our events will be inside the indoor arena, but for our hayride and carriage ride, those will obviously be outside. Okay, and is there any way for people to, you know, sign up ahead for those, or is it just kind of first come, first serve for those hay rides, those kind yeah, of things? Yes, so the event, um, it'll take place tomorrow, December 9th from 6 to 8 p.m., um, so people just come out, and they can participate in any event during that time frame. Okay, perfect, and then where can people go to find more information if they do want more? Yeah, so they can go to um, our Facebook, Texas Tech Therapeutic Writing Center, or um, they can email us at ttrc at ttu.edu. Okay, perfect. Is there anything else that you think is important that you do want to add or want people to know ahead of this event? Well, we just want to thank you for coming out and letting us get the word out um, and just invite everyone to come join us. We think it's going to be lots of fun um, and just kick off the holiday season. All right, perfect. Well, it is going to be an amazing time. It's another holiday event, so might as well come out. It is happening tomorrow, so Thursday, December 9th. Come out here to the Texas Tech Therapeutic Riding Center and, you know, just enjoy a good time with the family and learn a little bit more about what they do here. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Trends and friends.